Chosen ones, I want you to understand that this most definitely is history in the making. And the reason why it's history in the making is because the world will never be the same again. It is. It will never be the same again. And the reason why the world will never be the same again is because you woke up. Get Just get that, please, in your spirit. The reason why the world will never be the same again, it is sincerely because you woke up. You got tired of being sick and tired of being lied to. You got tired of being dictated to. You got tired of just seeing just one little small group of people be blessed and have a good life while you sit on the sidelines and have nothing. You got tired of being used and abused and misled. You got tired of allowing other people to dictate how your relationship with God should be. You got tired of feeling that there was a barrier between you and our father. And because you woke up, come on somebody, <laughs> they mad because you have spiritually and vibrationally began to move things back to the way that the Garden of Eden was supposed to be in the beginning before the, before Eve took that bite. I want you to get that all up in your spirit. Because see, some of us were like Eve. Because this is all about self-discovery this year. And a part of you waking up was you indeed got into some things that you probably shouldn't have gotten into. Some things that God told you, now that if you go over there, this is going to happen. If you touch that, you're going to get yourself into a mess. If you bite that, you may surely die. But you had to just go ahead on and see. You had to go ahead on and see. And so what the enemy thought is he thought that if he could entice you, if he could tempt you, if he could seduce you into sin, that you would stay there. But see, I want you to understand that you were already chosen before you got outside of the will of God. See, sometimes, unfortunately, it takes us going through things outside to get back inside. But when we come back, we're stronger than we were before we left. And I want you to know, because you have gone through a lot of different things in your life, a lot of challenges, a lot of situations, a lot of circumstances. Some of you have gotten free of a lot of things that you have been wrestling with for years. And because you have woke up, baby, the world will never be the same again. Because you have woken up, baby, it's generations coming behind you that will be set free. Because you woke up and you're like me, some of us were the first ones in our bloodline to do it because nobody had the courage or maybe they didn't know how to do it. But God chose us. We had nobody to kick a door down for us. We had to kick the door down ourselves. We had nobody that could just hand something to us. We're having to go and make it for ourselves. Baby, some of us are on ground zero, but we woke up. So we're still ahead by just acknowledging who we are in God. And because you woke up, chosen ones, I want you to understand the world will never be the same because you woke up. Love is just reeking all up in this atmosphere because you woke up. People are going to start treating you the way you deserve to be treated because you are not going to accept less than because you woke up. Everything that you could possibly imagine up in your heart and in your mind is beginning to unfold and to show up and present itself to you in your life because you woke up. You understand how to treat your neighbor, how to pray for people even though they may be an enemy, because you woke up, you're able to stand firm in righteousness, no matter what goes on around you and keep your eyes stayed on God because you woke up, honey. The axle of the vibrational frequency of hell has been tilted and God has been taken over more and more. It is a right side up type of situation because you woke up. The world would never be the same again. It would never be the same again. The former things have passed away. God is doing a new thing. 
and he is doing it through you. The enemy never wanted you to wake up. He wanted generations amongst generations to stay asleep. But the higher consciousness of God shook you through your trials and your tribulations. It took hell for you to get up. And now that you're up, game on. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I believe in you. I love you. Bye now.